Hello, fellow YouTubians. Today, we're going to talk about credit card scams. Remember when you ran away and I got on my knees and begged you not to leave because I go berserk? Well, they're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. They're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, haha. -ha. To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time and I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats and they're coming to take me away, ha ha. To the happy home with trees and flowers and chipping birds and basket weavers and sit and smile and fill my thumbs. Now, what's making me do this video was a phone call I received yesterday. I got a call from a woman turned around telling me that I owed like $3,500 on a credit card from Providian or something to that effect. And what makes this kind of interesting is I need to break down the full story for you. Almost a month ago, CNET put a warning on up for everybody. In case you're a subscriber to CNET, you would have got the warning too. It talked about how people were now phishing on telephone to get your information. Well, I got a call about two weeks after that warning. They were turned around and told me I was a prize winner over the telephone and how they were going to use my credit card to turn around and keep me supplied and all this information. Well, they wanted my social security number. So being the mastermind I was, I gave them one. Just not in the exact correct order. And they wanted a bunch of other information. Of course, I hung up on them before the telephone conversation was done because I was bored with it. Well, last night I received this phone call. The woman turned around and told me she was part of the Attorney General. And I was facing a lawsuit. A lawsuit of over $3,500 from some credit card I had that I had in 2002 that was way past due, and they had chased me all over the United States just trying to find me. Well, let's break down exactly what happened in this conversation. When she started off the conversation, she says, Am I speaking to a Mr. Daryl G. Wright? I immediately told her, No, you are not talking to a Daryl G. Wright. But she was insistent that she was talking to the right person. She kept it going and kept it going. And she finally asked me what my real name was. I turned around and told her, my name is Daryl L. Wright. She goes, oh, well, it's the same person. I just read the paper wrong. That right off the bat busted her. But here's some more interesting news, okay? Next, she's turned around and she's telling about all the credit card and how I owed on it and everything else, which basically is a flat-out lie, especially considering I had to take a bankruptcy a couple of years ago, and all my credit cards was inside the bankruptcy, so I know how they were taken care of. But she was insistent. She said, oh, no, you owe all this money. If you don't pay us, we're going to turn around and get you for paying, st buying stolen goods, using a credit card, credit card fraud, and all this kind of stuff. And she also meant that she had been chasing me all across the United States. And she asked me where I was from. I turned around and told her I'm from the state of Texas. She said, yeah, we sent letters to your address in Shepherd, Texas, and into your address out at such and such Cherokee, whatever another. And I told the woman, I've never lived at either address. This really kind of confused her, I guess. But she was giving out wrong information again. All my credit cards I have ever had in my entire life, I got in one state. I'm not going to tell you guys what state that was in. And when I got rid of them, I got rid of them all in the same state. So naturally, they weren't hunting for me. It was a scam artist. Especially considering that there was also another little part of the conversation that was kind of interesting. After I argued with her and told her, all my credit cards were in bankruptcy. They were taken care of years ago. She was insistent. Oh no, you must have just lost this paperwork. You must have just lost it. And then she made a comment and said, well... Do you check your credit report? You know, it could be part of your credit report. And I thought to myself, 
lady, if anybody's stupid enough to use my social security number to get a credit card, then uh, whoever issued it to them, let them be stupid enough to give it to them. But it's awful damn funny. I've tried for credit cards now ever since I took bankruptcy. I tried it a couple of times online and never got anywhere with it. So I know damn well that nobody stole my identity. Okay? But then the real kicker of it was, was at the ending of the conversation where she got huffy. She says, well, we have a copy of your driver's license. We have a copy of your signature. And also, we have your social security number. And she started rattling off the numbers. And guess what? They were the exact same numbers I gave to a guy almost two weeks ago in a wrong order for him who told me I had just won a contest. So if you should happen to receive one of these type of phone calls, beware behind it. It's probably a fraud case. Of course, most credit card companies, if they call you, if they use a computerized line anymore, it'll come on up something to the effect, um, if this is such and such, please stay on the line. If not, hang up. And that's how they usually start. If it's a real credit card company. I know because we get a few calls from them every once in a while. And they have to go back through and take a look at my bankruptcy. But I figured I'd put this quick video up online and kind of give you guys a quick warning about it. So until next time, I'm out of here. Well, they're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. They're coming to take me away. Oh, hee hee, haha. To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time.